Hey everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith and this is... Pet McDonald. And we're here to do a gameplay of CV. What's that stand for? Curriculum Vitae. Vitae? Something like that. Do you know what that is? No. <laughs> I didn't really know what that was either. I had to look it up. It's, uh, I think, in Europe and other places, it's like a longer resume. Okay. Okay, it's like details, more than just sort of that two-page resume, it's like the long like document of all your accomplishments, things you've done, and so on. That sounds like it would be boring. <laughs> Unless your life is exciting. Well, right? I mean, we're talking about our scooter and our first aid training. <laughs> well, I guess first aid training could be, could exciting, be exciting, right? <laughs> if you save someone's life with it, that'd be yeah. pretty cool. So we've already started the setup somewhat. We have some cards dealt out here. We have our starting cards as well, so you wouldn't have to sit through us drafting them. Uh, but we also have to get our life goals, right? Yes. So we're going to deal one to each of us, and then they'll, because it's a two-player game, there'll be one face-up, kind of a common goal. Yes? That's right. All right, so one to you, one to me, and one face-up, which you'll get a look at here in just a moment when we go to the table. We also need to decide who's going to go first. That's me. Is it you? Yes, because you've already drafted, and... I have the bicycle. You have the bicycle. Yeah, that isn't terribly exciting, is it? Like, <laughs> on your CV, would you tell, like, your future boss, I once... Had a bicycle. <laughs> and then I bought a scooter. <laughs> you probably wouldn't get that job. Here you go, Pap. You get the bicycle token. Let's go to the table and get this started. Before we get started, I do want to point out the shared life goal that we're both competing for, and that's to become collectors. And the objective here is to have the most possessions at the end of the game. Those are cards that have this yellow outline here. And then we'll get one point each for having the most. Oh, well, that's appropriate. Two board gamers? <laughs> of course, right. Collecting lots of possessions. Who's got the biggest board game collection? Pep, of course, does have the bicycle, so he's going to be going first. And Pep, go ahead and roll your dice. You start with four, and you have up to two re-rolls. All right, I'm liking this relationship, so I'm going to set this aside, and then I'm going to re-roll. All right, so those are getting a do-over. Definitely some different options there. Do you like something? Oh, do I ever. Are you going to roll again? I am, but first I'm going to save this knowledge, as well as this money. Okay, one more re-roll. That happy face is kind of leaving me depressed. Not what you wanted? Not one of them. Okay, yeah, you need three of them, because with three, then you can take any one of these items. So I think the first thing that I'm gonna be doing is going for my MBA. That's, what are you, like, you're six year old with a bicycle going to get their MBA? Well, I jumped, uh, I jumped ahead. I mean, I'm a little <laughs> ahead of my genius. class. You're mad genius, okay. And now that I'm in college, I kind of want to have some college friends, but I don't have quite enough dice for it. Yeah, you're missing the knowledge dice. But luckily, I have my first love, and she's going to help introduce me to some college friends. So, Pep, you're playing an event card from your childhood, this first love. Does she have a name? Ah, uh, yes, Liz. Those were good memories. All right, so you and Liz are spending lots of time studying for your MBA, and you get to collect these two cards. Because of the support of all of my college friends, especially Liz. <laughs> Is Liz really going to be helpful, or is she going to be a distraction to you? Well, I don't know. A little bit of both. All right. But they will give me the ability to take any knowledge card by paying one fewer symbol than I normally would. Likewise, my MBA will allow me to get a work card for one fewer symbol. Now it's time to clean up, and at the end of every player's turn in a two-player game, you're going to discard the the card farthest to the left. No, my scooter! I really wanted that scooter, actually. Ah, well, something good will come up, I'm sure. Now these slide all the way over, and then we reveal enough cards to fill in the remaining spaces. And this little cleanup that we're doing right here, for the rest of the videos, when we come back to the table, we'll have that part already done. Well, now it's my turn to roll my dice. Let's see what I get. Actually, I'm pretty happy with what I've rolled here. It's gonna set me up, I think, to get possibly two cards. But I'm gonna re-roll this one because if I get the right result, it might save me having to spend a card from my hand. Okay, I didn't get what I was looking for. To do what I want to do, I'm going to have to reveal something about myself here. While Pep was studying for his MBA, being studious, getting all those college friends, uh, I, was, I was playing hooky, not attending classes, which led me away from formal education, and instead I spent a lot of my time working out, getting that fitness training. So my early jobs weren't great, I wasn't making a lot of money, but thankfully I was able to inherit an apartment and that's the symbol I'm getting here, another smiley face to go with this one to allow me to pick up the inherited apartment. Well, while you were playing hooky, I was getting hickeys. <laughs> oh, I'm kind of jealous, actually. <laughs> Didn't mention this on Pep's turn, but these event cards that we're playing, once played, are then discarded. So although I was kind of goofing off in my youth, it wasn't all a total loss. Now I'm going to be able to collect relationship cards with one less required symbol. It's because of the biceps. People love the guns. The inherited apartment isn't going to give me any special benefit, but it will give me four points. My turn. This looks like it matches up with some of the available cards. Indeed it does. So I'm going to keep the health and the money symbol, as well as another health symbol. And I think it's pretty safe for me to just re-roll this one. Perfect! Is that what you wanted? Yeah. Okay, well then, what are you going to be buying with these dice? 
Well, these two are going on to work and travel. So you got that MBA, immediately got a job. Yeah, now Liz and I are just, we're cruising around the world. Oh, she's going with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, we work relationship's together. really blossoming. Okay. Yeah. Well, see, and we also didn't really eat that well during college. I mean, a lot of fast food. I think we need to get a little bit better shape. So we're going to go running while we're abroad. Well, my character would approve of this. Working out is a good idea. Yeah, maybe we'll see you there doing pull-ups off the trees. <laughs> right, at the gym. Man, I like this gym you go to. It has trees in it. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all natural, yeah. It's, it's a jungle gym. It's a jungle gym. <laughs> Oh, unbelievable. Well, Pep, now you have an interesting decision here because you have two of the same type and only one can be on top and active. That's right. And I also kind of have to decide what's more important to me in life, the running or the work and travel. And I think all this travel abroad is a great experience. I think it'll look great on my resume. So <laughs> this one is going to be on top. You know what I think is also going to look great? That extra die you're going to get to roll because that's the benefit you're gaining here is one extra die. That's going to be very useful. All right, now it's my turn. Rolling my four dice. That's misfortunate. It is. Anytime you get this unhappiness, bad luck face, it's locked. I can't re-roll that one again. Well, looking at my options here, I have to admit I'm not thrilled. Uh, <laughs> I could pick up Blood Donor right now with what I have or try to roll and get some money symbols to get something potentially better in the long run? You know what, how bad can I roll? I'm gonna re-roll. Surely I'll get some money. Ooh, I did get some money. Actually, I got two things. Wow, actually that was a total 180 turnaround. I've got two cards I can pick up with these. I'm gonna stop, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna test fake now. I will take both of those. Let me just look here. You know what, I think I did meet up with you and Liz at the gym. We hit it off, I shared some workout tips. And you made me realize maybe I should have done a little more studying. So you know what, I'm gonna do some e-learning. It's never too late to get an education, right? Now I don't know exactly how I've accomplished this, but through this e-learning, apparently I'm starting to pay into a pension fund that hopefully later is gonna pay off in my old age. So once again, these are event cards. They'll actually go into my hand rather than face up on the table. And I can use these at any point during my own turn to gain their benefits. E-learning will give me two knowledge symbols I can use to buy my future cards. And this symbol here means the pension fund can only be used during old age once we're onto that third deck. And it will provide me with four money that I can spend. All right, back to me. And five dice. I'm jealous of your five dice. Yeah, work and travel, it's really doing it for me. I don't know, being away from home, I think it's kind of actually making you a bit sad. I see you locked one of your dice here, so you won't be able to re-roll that one. All right, I'm gonna set this relationship and money aside, and then I'm going to re-roll these two knowledges. Ooh, that's fantastic, just what I was looking for. I'm gonna keep this relationship and I'm gonna re-roll this last money. What I really want here is one more relationship. Gosh, I hope Liz didn't just break your heart. Unfortunately, not a relationship. Yeah, we were hoping to have a child, but it didn't work out. You can still get a child. Yeah, but we just don't have enough money right now. I need to get a job at dad's company first, and then we can really think about having uh, children. You have your priorities straight, which is good. Now, it looks like this is gonna cost you three of the relationships, and I only see Two here. That's right, but don't forget, my MBA means that I can get any work card for one fewer symbol. Right, and this is a work card, so you're able to satisfy that requirement. And I'll use my final money to buy into a little bit of life insurance. That misfortune has me scared. And the life insurance will help me with that because it lets me avoid misfortune once by discarding it. Right, and misfortune happens when you roll three unhappy faces. Normally you'd have to lose one of your other already collected cards. But now I won't. And the job at dad's company is great. Look at all the money I'm raking in. And this also provides me with the tokens that I can use on top of my dice. But you're a little unhappy. Yeah, I just, that is not where I wanted to be in life. I didn't want to be that guy who works for my dad's company. I want to be out on my own. I want my own company. Right, you were traveling the world. You are a free bird. Now you're strapped at a desk. Yeah, I got right back into his cage. Okay, my turn. And oh. <laughs> I'm miserable. Look, two of these are useless and locked. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, you must have just seen how happy Liz and I were together and it just kind of yeah, sent you depressed. into a spiraling depression. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe that e-learning course too, it kind of taught me just how much I don't know. Well, if you need help, I mean, I'm here. <laughs> I appreciate that. But maybe you can help me figure out what I'm gonna do with the dice I have left. Actually, you know what? I have some options in my hand here. You know what, Pep, it's not all bad. I did see the nice relationship you have. I saw what's missing in my life. I'm sort of living a very bachelor-esque, just doing what I want to do all the time life. I need more relationships. And my fitness training, you know what? Those guns I had, they actually kind of helped a little bit. I think I've, I've attracted someone and we got married and we're having a baby. Wow, congratulations. <laughs> all overnight, really quick. That's usually when it happens. What do you mean, weddings? Do we need to have the talk? <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, you mean the baby, right, okay. Good good point, right, okay. Now the fitness training is gonna allow me to ignore one of these symbols, let's say it's the money. I still have a relationship symbol there I need to deal with. Thankfully I have this childhood memory and it's gonna provide that relationship symbol through some neighborhood friends that I had. They look kind of 
I don't know, some sketchy friends I had. You know what, maybe this is just another life example that I'm realizing I wanna provide something better for my own kids. Kind of a reverse form of inspiration. Now I have these two knowledge symbols left, and that puts me pretty close to being able to go into a life of science. And thankfully my e-learning was exactly in that field of study. It's gonna provide me with two knowledge symbols. So I'm definitely gonna save one of these. With this in mind, there's no real need for me to re-roll this. I only chance getting some more misfortune. So I'll take both of these and add them to my CV. So the child that I've added to my CV is gonna provide The me child? With... The child, yeah. Does this child not have a name? <laughs> a name. Uh, sure, this is Harold, uh, our young son Harold here. Uh, he's gonna provide us with a couple of tokens. You happy now? I know. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good. Happiness is actually one of the things he's gonna provide me with some good luck and a relationship token. So that's these two here. And then my, my science work is going to provide me with a little bit of knowledge and some money. And that's important because I actually have to pay some money every round that I have this child. And if I can't pay the money, then I lose the child. It's easy to tell that you're a real scientist because when people ask what you do, you say, science work. <laughs> that's the official term for it. So basically, I've got this money that I'm going to lose every turn to the child. <laughs> <laughs> Not the child, Harold. Harold, I'm sorry. I mean Harold. This important member of our family. All right, I'm excited for this turn. Well, not only do you have the dice here, but the tokens that you collected previously, looks like a pretty good roll. All right, it's looking like I'm definitely gonna need this knowledge, and hmm, I'm gonna reroll everything else. Okay, thought for sure you'd have enough for whatever you're looking for. I'm looking forward to seeing what you wanna pick up. Well, I'm definitely keeping another knowledge, in fact, two. The rest getting rerolled? Yes, sir. Okay. Listen, I'm so upset about this job at my dad's company. It's just, all it is is stress. I can I, see it on you. And I just have to deal with this all the time. So you know what? What? My MBA isn't enough. My work and my travel, I didn't learn enough. I need to go out and get myself a PhD. <laughs> okay. And on the side, I want to make sure I have everything I need to know in life. So I'm also going to go and do some studies. Like a brainiac. Now, Pep, we're just going to show a quick snippet of your total CV. So here's a couple of cards you had originally. And these are the new ones that you're bringing in that are going to affect them potentially. Yeah, and so if I put PhD on top, it's going to give me an extra dice on my turn. And this studies, because it's double colored, can go on either pile. So if I put it on top of a pile, it will allow me to change any number of knowledge into relationship and vice versa. I'm going to put the studies under the college friends, and I'm going to put the PhD as well under the MBA. These original effects I already had are just too good to give up. Well, and looky here, we drew the last card from the early adulthood deck. And this is where we check for social assistance, right? It is. So we check to see if any player has twice as many cards in their CV as any other player. Well, that seems incredibly unlikely. I have four cards in my CV. How many do you have? Eight. <laughs> What? You've doubled me? A lot of what I've picked up so far has been events, and that's part of what's led to this situation. I'm getting social assistance now. That means I can take any one of these face-up cards in the little market area here for free. This is actually a, a, kind of a challenging choice here. I'd like to take some that costs a lot because I'd feel like I'm, I'm getting a deal. But I like the current CV card that I have. This one doesn't give me a whole lot more. An extra die to roll might be kind of good. Instead, though, I think I'm going to explore my passion for magic. I've got young kids now. Kids love tricks, right? Tricks are for kids. Right, so I'm gonna take this magician. It actually has an ability I can use right away on my next turn. It says that I can change any one symbol into another symbol once per round. But not good luck or bad luck. Right, and it can change symbols on either dice I've rolled or tokens I have. Yep, that's my decision. I'm gonna take this one and add it to my CV. And now because we're in the middle of the cleanup phase, we still have to keep drawing, but now we're taking from the middle age deck here. And now with the cleanup phase over, I can roll the dice. Here are the tokens as well that I have for my turn. And you know what? I think we'll end right here and leave the rest up to you. I need your help, obviously. I need some social assistance. Now I need some viewer assistance. Which one or two of the available options here should I pick up? Well, um, I feel like my life's a shambles here, Pep. I just, I don't, I don't have a lot going on. I'm in this apartment. I'm apparently doing magic tricks now after being trained as a scientist, a mad scientist. I have this child to pay for. I don't know. I'm feeling pretty good over here, although I'm spending so much time studying. I'm kind of getting burnt out, and I'm still working on yeah, my dad's look company. Look at you. You spent most of your life in school. Yeah. Although you did meet the love of your life there. It's yeah. pretty, pretty cool. We're really happy. Yeah. Well, I need your help. I, uh, please, in the comments below, let me know what you think I should do. What one or two cards should I pick up here? And don't forget, of course, the dice aren't locked in yet. You could tell me, well, I think you should go for this one, so re-roll this number of dice or whatever. And I have some special abilities to convert some symbols as well. So. I'll show you all that in the end. Put in the comments below. If you like what someone suggests, what should they do? Give it a thumbs, thumbs up. up. And if you don't like a suggestion, propose your own. Maybe someone will give that a thumbs up, which everyone gets the most votes. That's what we'll come back and do. But until the next episode, thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching.